So you have written two early learning courses, Stepping Stones and Simply K, and then you've also co-authored Math Lessons K, which goes hand in hand with, with Simply K. What is kind of like the overarching idea or the goal behind these early learning courses? Basically to provide a developmental approach for academics. Um, a lot of times we just focus on the academics and we don't focus on the whole child. And so these courses take a step back and actually focus on the entire child, like every aspect. Um, some children are eager and ready and want to learn at three while others at five just still aren't really ready. So you have to kind of gauge your own child. I usually like to say if they can sit for one minute times their age. So if they're three, then three minutes they're five then five minutes and that just shows that they have the attention span to be able to sit and listen to something for a short time sometimes we also say that we talk about having a gentle start and oftentimes when people are talking they look at this as a weakness they think a gentle start is a weak thing but we actually view that as a strength at masterbooks can you address this topic of concern that many parents have and then possibly even share a little bit of the science that has come out in recent years that encourages a gentle start? Um, sure. Um, I know like even, um, you know, in foreign countries, not just in the U.S., that when they do a more gentle approach, they do a more play based approach. Children learn through play. Um, that has been documented for years and years and years, but they learn so much. I mean, in pretend play, they're learning communication. They're learning cooperation. They're, they're learning cause and effect. There's so many things that we just look at it as, oh, they're just playing. No, they're learning. And um, so when we have that play-based learning, then we are able to you know, engage them where they are at. We're able to build the connections of what um, that they need to be able to, you know, build a good foundation for us to build on. The other thing about the being gentle that reminds me, like I immediately was reminded of a scripture where it talks about in the Bible that he is gentle to shepherd those with young. And it's talking about God is gentle to shepherd us. And I think a lot of times we think the word rigor is a good word when in actuality, if you look up that definition, it's rigid. I mean, I don't know about you, but the whole point of parenting and discipling my children is really not from a rigid that's not how Christ does with me. And so I always try to take it back and say, OK, if he is gentle with me, and shepherds me gently, then that's how I also need to do it. And God is all powerful. So for us to say that that's weak is kind of comical in a way um, because it's not a weak approach at all. It actually has strength in it. What we are doing is just setting a solid foundation, yet doing it in a gentle way. 